Hey all, crisis averted, there's a fix. When you're looking at a category and this player's up, go to the URL and add slash list to the end and it will revert to the old browsing layout. So new browsing layout with this monstrosity here, slash list for the old browsing layout. I found this workaround on a Reddit post discussing the change right here. Feel free to go there and upvote the commenter and thread if this is helpful to you. It says it right here. It appears that this is a test feature, and congratulations to Twitch. You thoroughly tested my resolve with this mini player. I appreciate that Twitch wants to roll out new features that can benefit the community. And my personal opinion is No, 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 no. I made a quick video yesterday expressing my dislike of the new layout for browsing categories on Twitch, but the recording was garbage and I didn't pause to gather my thoughts before hitting the record button. It seems that the reception of this change is somewhat split. I haven't looked through all the opinions to gauge what the split looks like, but the change appears divisive. I personally don't like this change at all and hope that Twitch adds opt-in or opt-out functionality since it drastically changes my viewing experience. The workaround is amazing, but since it's just a workaround, I'm concerned it won't be permanent. If it exists forever, then it's a tolerable inconvenience that doesn't affect me too much. One of the positives I've heard is that the new browser allows people to experience a stream without having to commit to it, and I can definitely appreciate that benefit some people, but I find that to be a poor reason to make this big of a change to the browsing experience given that, at least on PC, you can just right-click and open a stream in a private tab. With ads. You can always load up a stream in private browsing, but you can't browse categories normally without the workaround. This mini player definitely makes channel surfing easier though, and maybe that's the point. Cater to people that channel surf. Again, as long as this workaround is functioning though, I guess I don't really care too much. A side point to this is that private viewing potentially gives the stream an extra viewer for the duration, but the mini player doesn't. I say potentially because after a quick Google search, I wasn't able to find a definitive answer regarding private windows, but some answer stated that any open stream counts as a viewer. If someone can give me a definitive answer, feel free to let me know. If I have any constructive criticism to offer, I would suggest, number one, please make this opt-in or opt-out, or add a small X on the corner of the player somewhere to close it completely. Number two, change this expand button to minimize the player a lot more than it does. Right now it adds roughly one row depending on how you're zoomed. And zooming in to make the screen bigger hides the stream title. For anyone that dislikes this change as I do, the critical time to pay attention will be when the mini player becomes permanent. That's when we need to be prepared to complain if Twitch removes the slash list functionality. Till then, I hope this video helps somebody out there, and feel free to go over to the Reddit post to show support. This workaround literally saved my Twitch browsing experience. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.